If you want to convert multiple bats of unsupported files into supported format, then what you can do is you can go to tools and over here you can see that there's an option for bats convert to supported format. So once I click on it, I'm just going to go to the folder where I have my video files. So over here I have two video files of San Francisco. Both are in WMB format, which is not natively supported. So I'm just going to go to open right here. And what happens is that it gives us the convert to supported format option. So I'm just going to go for slowest for high quality encode. And then I'm going to press OK. So it is batch converting everything. So both the video files are being converted into supported files, as you can see right here. It's almost done. And since uh, the, the length of my video file is not too long, it is not taking much time. But depending on your processor speed and then depending on the length of your uh, video file, it does take a, a bit of time in some case. So if I were to go over here on the output folder and everything. So let me just open this up in the Explorer itself. So I'm just going to open it up. And over here, you can see that in my WMB file for folder, there's converted file. So there is uh, one WMB right over here. So if I were to actually close this, drag this out, you can see that it will say that it is not supported. So if I were to go over here, you can see that it says the file is not natively supported. But if I were to drag the converted one, so it has been converted into MP4, it is now in the supported format. So if I were to press OK, you can see that it does not show an, any error. And I can simply click and drag it and uh, cut it natively just like this. And this is how you can batch convert to supported format inside of lossless cut. So if you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.